Good morning, story time friends. Miss Sydney is here for Wednesday's edition of Virtual Story Time. How are you feeling today? In my neighborhood, I look out the window and I see the sun is shining. I hope it stays that way all day long so I can get a chance to go out and play. Today's story time is all about shapes. What's your favorite shape? There are lots of different shapes, aren't there? So the story that I'm gonna read for you is called Nightlight. It's by Nicholas Blackman, and it has lots of shapes hiding inside. It also is a counting book. So I want you to keep your ears on, your eyes open to see if you can spot shapes and numbers inside the story Nightlight. Are you ready? One, one light shining bright. What shape is the light? A circle, great job. What did it become? A train. I think you'll see a pattern in this book about what these shapes become. Two lights hovering in flight. One, two. Hmm, what do you think these will become? Oh, wow, a helicopter. And what's this person doing inside the helicopter? Yeah, flying it. He's the pilot, right? Three lights late at night. Hmm, we've got one, two circles. What shape is this light? Yes, an oval. Very good. Taxi cab. Do you know what a taxi does, friends? In the busy city, sometimes not everyone has their own car. So you could say, taxi, and the taxi car will stop and give you a ride where you need to go. Four lights, left, center, and right. Let's count these four lights. One, two, three, four. Hmm, any predictions what these might become? A tugboat. Very good. Did you guess a tugboat? You're so smart. Five lights, cleaning day and night. Ooh, I see two lights down here. What color are these? Yellow. And then I see one, two, three lights up here. What color are those? Orange. What is something that cleans day and night that might have lights on it? A street sweeper. They've got big brushes on the bottom to clean up the leaves and dirt that fall into the road. Six lights, visiting many sites. Any guesses? What's that, friends? It's a yellow school bus. And I see some elephants over here. Where do you think that this school bus took a trip to if they're looking at elephants? To the zoo, very good. Ooh, seven lights flashing red and white. Take a look up here. I see a pattern, do you? Red, white, red, white, red. What would come next? White, very good, that would fit in our pattern. Do you have a guess what has red and white lights? A fire truck, he comes in an emergency, right? There's his fire hose, what's coming out? Some water, very good. Eight lights, digging at the construction site. What could that be? Oh, this truck is called a loader truck. What color is the loader truck? Yellow and some black too, plus all his lights to help keep him safe at the site. Nine lights pushing with all their might. Are all of these lights circles, friends? No, not all of them. I see some circles here, here. What about these? What shape is that? A square. Oh man, can you think of anything with square lights? A snow plow. Take a look, he's cleaning all the snow off the streets. Who's over here on the pond? 
snowmen. They are fishing. Ten lights fueling for a flight. Ooh. <gasps> a tank truck. Who is the tank truck giving fuel to? The airplane. One light glowing through the night. Ooh. Do you think this one's a truck? A plane? A train? <gasps> it's a night light. There it is. You can see our book jacket's covering part of his room, but it looks like his bed is a truck. Did you like that story, friends? Did you see shapes? Did you hear number words? Yeah, we counted from one all the way up to 10, didn't we? You're pretty good at all your shapes. Do you know what makes shapes different from other shapes? Let's sing a little song about some of the features that make shapes special. Ready? Here's my first shape. What is it? A circle. We saw so many circles in our story, didn't we? What color is my circle? It's a red circle. A circle is a shape that's round, round, round. Draw one with your finger. Round, round, round. Round, round, round. A circle is a shape that's round, round, round. Round, round, round. Very nice job. I've got another shape. What shape is this? A triangle. What color is my triangle? Yes, it's a yellow triangle. And do you know what's special about a triangle? Let's draw one with our finger. Get your finger ready. A triangle is a shape that has three sides, has three sides, has three sides. A triangle is a shape that has three sides. One, two, three. Nice work. I've got one more shape for you. What is it? It's a square. What color is my square? Can you tell? I have a purple square today. Get that finger ready. Can you make a square with your finger? Draw one in the air, ready? A square is a shape that has four sides, has four sides, has four sides. A square is a shape that has four sides. One, two, three, four. Nice job. So tell me again, what's the shape called? A square. A triangle, last one. What about this one? A circle, excellent job, my friends. So we read our story. We sang a little song all about shapes. Since it's Wednesday, I am going to show you the grab and go craft, which is special because there are lots of shapes inside this grab and go craft this week. So if you picked one up from the library and have been saving it, feel free to follow along with me. You can pause the video and get all your materials together. If not, we will still have the grab and go packs available in the youth service department every day through the end of the week. So now that the library is open, today will be open from one to seven. Thursday and Friday will be open from 10 to four. You can come on down to youth services. They're in a bin where you can help yourself. All of the materials are yours to keep, nothing to return and it's free. So I am going to get my supplies here and tilt my camera down so you can see my work. Down we go. So, Miss Sydney got a bottle of glue. If you don't have a bottle of glue and have a glue stick at your house, that works perfectly fine. And inside your kit, you will find a whole bunch of cotton balls and pom-poms. And before you do your craft with them, it's fun to squish them and feel them because they're really nice to touch. What shape? is a pom-pom and a cotton ball, kind of. Yeah, they're kind of like circles. And then you have this big shape. What shape is this? A triangle, that's right. This is going to be a cone and we have to make some ice cream. So Miss Sydney grabbed a plain paper just to put underneath my work as I go because the neat thing about this activity is it could be three dimensional. We're not going to attach the pom-poms to anything but each other to make one big clump. If you have smaller hands or you think it might be easier for your child to glue them down on a surface, grab any piece of paper you want. They can just glue it on there and then you can cut around the circle they make. But our job is to turn these cotton balls and pom-poms into an ice cream cone. So Miss Sydney is gonna take a little bit of glue and put it on my pom-pom and squish it to a cotton ball. We gave you both options 
options. So you could pick your favorite colors, you could make a pattern, you can mix and match, but you see how Miss Sydney's just using a little tiny bit of glue, but I'm not gluing them down to the paper. You can if you want, but the cool thing about having a 3D ice cream cone is you could hang it up on a window and be able to see it from both sides. You could hang it from the ceiling, maybe in your bedroom, and both sides will look like ice cream. So I'm going to put a little dab of glue on my cotton balls, on my pom-poms, until I make one big circle of ice cream. Do you see that? And then I'm going to set it down carefully on my paper and let it dry. And you're going to have to be patient because glue can take kind of like 30 minutes to an hour to make sure it's nice and dry. But once all of your pieces are attached around, Miss Sydney's going to just do it quick so I can show you. I'll use my glue a little bit later, but I've got a big fluffy circle of ice cream. I'll glue it all together and I'll let it dry. And then once it's dry, I'm gonna take my ice cream cone and I'm gonna put a line of glue at the top and I'm gonna slide it underneath to make an ice cream cone. And if it's not attached to paper, you could put a little piece of yarn or string here, hang it up on your ceiling. You could attach it in the window so that both sides, you can see the ice cream and the ice cream cone. I hope that you have fun with this week's grab and go activity. Remember, watching our virtual programs and participating in the grab and go craft are both missions that you can check off on your summer challenge to earn points toward this week. So if you do the grab and go craft, we would love to see a picture of it. If you want to share it down below in the comment section, keep reading, keep exploring with our summer challenge, digging deeper, and we will see you again tomorrow for Science Spotlight and Bedtime Stories with Miss Kaylee. Thanks so much for watching.